Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet instructor here at Dynamic Worldwide Training in Tempe, Arizona. And I've been recording some videos for my participants who have taken my NSC5 class and uh, some proof of concepts. And in the last video, we uh, essentially set up our remote FortiGates for, um, for remote access. So we did a DHCP server, we, we tested that. Uh, we also named some interfaces. But from there, essentially, you know, that's all we could do from a device settings level because when we went to go import it into our ADOM database, it said, sorry, but there's no policies being used. So, um, but that was okay. So in this video, we're going to borrow the initial configuration from our local FortiGate. We can also do it from scratch, doesn't matter. So, but I'm gonna show you how you can recycle those. Anyway. <laughs> My, my three-year-old keeps busting in. Anyways, uh, in this video, we're going to borrow the initial configuration from our FortiGates, or we can also uh, um, uh, build one from scratch. It doesn't matter. Because we can have as many policy objects as we want, or not policy objects, but packages as we want. We just happen to have one already on our local FortiGate. So uh, this video is actually pretty important because this is where the magic of the Forti Manager starts coming into place and that is dynamic mapping. So we're going to do some dynamic mapping of some objects. We're going to set some targets and we're going to see how we can get that remote FortiGate up and running. So um, let's go ahead and log into our Forti Manager. So where's my, my PC here? All right. And here's our device manager and you'll notice that we did not get that remote FortiGate to import it through. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to policy and objects, all right, and we're going to borrow our local FortiGate's initial configuration. Now, our local FortiGate's initial configuration is just basic stateful access, all right, so going from the LAN to the WAN, and then our local FortiGate, and then destination all, internet's a big place, all right, services all, no authentication, except pretty sure there's some notching rules happening there okay so uh, let's go ahead and borrow it so I'm going to right click and I'm gonna say clone package all right and instead I'm gonna call this remote FortiGate ah remote FortiGate Uh, initial. I hope I. There we go. We're going to hit OK. All right. And it is identical. OK. So, um, but before we can even do anything, though, we got to do what's known as dynamic mapping. And dynamic mapping, I promise you, is where all the magic comes into the Forda Manager. So, what am I talking about here? Well, let's go to configuration, object configurations, and take a look. So for starters, all right, uh, we have our interfaces here, and it says these have been mapped one out of two. Okay, um, but let's go ahead and open this up, and you can see that our LAN has been mapped to port three. Now, if we had a topology of our network, we would know that our LAN is actually, if I can hover here, port 6. And our WAN is actually port 4. Okay? So instead of having two completely different firewall policies, we can edit those and say, hey, you know what? When it comes to the local FortiGate, I want you to go ahead and use port 6. Now, the one that's in a parentheses there that's the alias that I gave when I was initially configuring it okay all right let me pull this up a little bit there's a big okay button down there so I'm gonna go ahead and do this also for the WAN all right there we go remote 48 now, if this remote FortiGate was in production and they happen to have the same 
the same aliases, I could have done the mapping with the initial importing in. This is only because I was doing it initially from like a factory default state other than just a static IP address that was set on the WAN interface so the Florida manager could connect to it. All right, if everyone was watching the videos from the start. Okay, pretty darn cool, if you ask me. All right, now this is even better. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Um, and I could keep on doing these, but that's okay. I am going to go to my objects, configurations, firewall, and for my addresses, my local land, oh, I apologize, my local land, I'm going to edit this one, and I'm going to say, hey, you know what, there is dynamic mapping, and I'm going to hit create new, and I'm going to say for my remote FortiGate, it's going to be 10.10.20.0 10 with the slash 24, okay? Now, if it does not have a device assigned to it, it's just going to use the default. And because the LAN object came from my local FortiGate, I technically don't need to put my local FortiGate in here. Okay, so I'm going to say, all right. And now we have a dynamic firewall object. Okay, so this is all going to come into play in, in, in a little bit, but... Now that we have those dynamically mapped, I can go back to my, my, oops, policy packages, okay? And everything is set up just the way that it was on the local, but now for my installation targets, I'm gonna pluck out my local FortiGate, and I'm going to add in my remote FortiGate. All right? Now you're probably asking yourself, well, Devin, couldn't you have just put in the remote FortiGate into one of the installation targets? Yes, I can. The only reason why I'm doing this is that if I wanted two individual copies that I could per se have pushed down to each individual FortiGate and then tweak them individually. All right. So I didn't have to do this. I'm just showing you that we could do this. All right. So or I could have done it here and built one from scratch. All right. Let's see if it worked. Are right, you guys ready? Let's go to install. We'll go to the install wizard. We're going to say the remote FortiGate. And here's that revision. If you guys think that you are going to affect the ADOM database, you can. I'm going to skip that. You can also schedule the install for after hours or a maintenance window. We'll hit next. See how it automatically found the remote FortiGate? We hit next. It's going to go through a preview. All right. And the preview came up. It looks like our tunnel is up. Let's do an install preview and see if it errors out. It could. I don't know. It says that it was okay. Okay. Sounds good to me, right? So let's go ahead and install it. So it is now pushing down that remote FortiGate settings. Yeah, it's like watching paint dry. That's okay. <laughs> now remember, you can uh, take a look at the output of what it's doing. Okay. Now this is something else to keep in mind, guys. It's also affecting all the objects on that, on that too. So in other words, anything that's duplicated, it's going to take it out, so on and so forth. It says it was okay. I mean, do we believe it? What do we do now? Well, let's go ahead and test it. Well, for starters, let's go to our device manager. And as you can see, everything is in sync. All right, so let's go here. Let's go to here. And as you guys can see, we now have internet access on a remote site. And we did that by borrowing the policy package from the, rem from the local FortiGate, okay? 
pretty darn cool all right guys and it was able to set and able to configure all of the different objects there dynamically because of the uh, dynamic mapping all right so the right IP addresses got into the right objects so if that's not enough to write home to your mama I don't know what is then again that's probably why I'm single anyways that was a joke <laughs> but guys I hope that was helpful now when we when I get back and I better I better uh, stop neglecting my kids for the day but when we get back I'm gonna show you how to write one firewall policy to maybe do a security profile on both of them and we can push that down to a couple of 40 gates and I'm just gonna keep on challenging myself in this lab to see what I can do with these free VMs um, and just I'm, I'm just kinda rolling with this so if it was helpful if it wasn't helpful let me know um, and uh, we'll go forward after that so alright guys thanks a lot take care